Welcome back to Orange Hat Reviews, everyone. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. So, at the request of a friend, Steve Kenobi, shout out to you, Steve. Thank you for recommending this. I checked out Split Second with Rutger Hauer and Kim Cattrall, Alistair Duncan, Michael Pollard, Alan Armstrong, Pete Postlethwaite, and a few others. And I gotta say... This movie was... It's nothing spectacular. It's nothing spectacular. However, it's definitely an interesting story for a 90s action sci-fi horror flick. And Rucker Hauer, man, he is off the rails in this movie, and I absolutely love it. It's like... Or there's speculation that this creature that's killing everybody in uh, London... I mean, this movie takes place in 2008... It was made in 1992, but it takes place in 2008, and global warming causes uh, London to flood. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's interesting. It's now 2023 as of the recording of this video, folks. So they kind of got the future wrong, but still... This movie is uh, quite interesting. They got 450 Magnum uh, bullets and bigger guns and shit. And Rutger Hauer plays this cop that's uh, trying to catch a serial killer. He can hear its heartbeat. So he has some sort of psychic connection to it. And he gets a partner played by Alistair Duncan, which is freaking hilarious. But the creature in this movie is actually what is interesting because it's essentially a mix with snake eyes with his visor and a symbiote and Freddy Krueger. I mean, look at these freaking nails here, man. Look at these freaking nails on this creature, the claws on this thing. And here's another picture of it. Uh, ooh, he even has glowing eyes. But yeah, this thing has freaking, like, harpoon-like claws. Not... Not ones that shoot out, but you could tell with the barbs on the claws here, down here, that this thing is, or can definitely grip and tear. But yeah, this thing is kind of creepy looking. It rips out people's hearts and then eats them. And there's speculation that it's the devil. And I, there's a great line in this from Rucker Howard. He's like, I don't think that it thinks it's the devil. I think that it is the devil. Or that it is Satan. Well, Satan's in deep shit. <laughs> they go in with freaking shotgun minigun kind of things to kill this thing. Kim Cattrall is great in this film, too. She plays a nice uh, balance to Rucker Hauer's character. However, she was the ex-wife of a partner of his that he was banging her, so he kind of feels guilty about his partner's death when his partner gets killed by the thing. And it's like, oh my god, that's a twisted story there, man. But Pete Postlethwaite plays a uh, kind of an asshole cop who gets uh, Rucker Hauer's character in trouble and suspended because of a medical report or whatever. So he gets unsuspended when the thing is confirmed to be a serial killer or be a reactive serial killer or reactivated serial killer, so to speak. And, I mean, this movie has some great lines. It's like, he's asking, or the chief is asking uh, Rucker Hauer's character, Harley Stone, his name is. He's like, well, what kind of guns do you use? He lists off like four or five. Why don't you get a grenade launcher while you're at it? Couldn't get a permit. <laughs> it's like, couldn't get a permit. And Alistair Duncan plays this freaking brainy science or brainy studying serial killers guy and then he goes nuts after he sees the creature and i'm thinking to myself this is kind of weird but it's fun you know oh my god the creature is great now honestly folks again looking at this creature they could oh my god this thing does kind of remind me of venom i mean without the snake eyes visor but it looks so great, you know? I mean, right down to the ripples on the neck in this area here. But yeah, this movie, it's by no means a perfect film. It's got uh, 
bad con or it's got bad uh, cinematography and or uh, zoomed in on things a little too much. It's got the cheesy sci-fi flick kind of formula to it, but it works. It's a really good turn your brain off, enjoy the film kind of movie. So I'm not really going to judge it from an objective standpoint. However, from a subjective standpoint, I will say that this movie is about uh, an 8.5. I really enjoyed it. Thank you to Steve Kenobi. Moviegoer, this movie keeps you kind of wondering what Rucker Hauer is going to do next. So I'll put it at about a 9. Uh, there was a bit of a lull where a moment where I was starting to doze a little bit, but that's where the point comes off on the moviegoer. It wasn't that I was bored, it's just that it was, or I've been tired recently. But yeah, this movie is great. I really did like it. I watched it twice just to make sure that I didn't miss anything. Um, yeah, raw thoughts, man. This is what this review is. I love Rucker Hauer's uh, performance in this. Kim Cattrall was great. Alistair Duncan's Dick Durkin. Detective Dick Durkin. Oh my god. Try try saying that ten times fast, folks. Holy crap. But, yeah. Uh, who played the creature in this? Who actually is the guy in the suit? So I'm going to actually ask. Who played the Scorpio demon in Split second let's see what actor was it Stuart Harvey Wilson and Paul Grayson both credited as the killer okay so yeah dubbed as or and most often dubbed as Satan also theorized to be it because it also absorbs the uh, DNA of its victims it also has Rucker Howard's DNA because it scratch it clawed him they did real good jo work with the practical effects because this was 1992, they didn't do a lot of uh, digital effects with that stuff. Where nowadays, if they did this movie, they could. However, oh my god, I really like this movie. It's not perfect, but it's fun. So yeah, that's going to be the uh, video. Y'all know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below, folks. What did you think of Split Second if you've seen it? What did you... Or, what are your thoughts? Let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below, folks. This has been Orange Chat Reviews. Have a wonderful day, and always remember, stay humble.